Good evening, and thank you for joining me for this evening prayer service on Sunday, June 21st. I also want to thank you for walking with me through these prayer times over the last few months, uh, and to let you know that this will be the last evening prayer service, uh, at least for the summer. We will be having one weekly prayer service, which will be available on Wednesday mornings, uh, so keep an eye out for that. It will be uploaded to YouTube, and you can join in in prayer anytime. But for tonight, I encourage you to grab a candle, as we have been doing, to help complete the space you are in. Otherwise, just gather around this light of Christ. And I would like to invite you to join in responsively or in unison with some of what we have to offer. And now... Let us light this candle together. As we light this candle, we are reminded of Christ, a light that no darkness can overcome. In this season after Pentecost, we are reminded of the power of light, how it can overcome darkness, how it can guide us on the way. May we be filled and led by the light of Christ. Amen. And now I'd like to invite you to join with me responsively in reading Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Those last lines, for you are the God of my salvation, for you I would wait all day long. That is a deep yearning that the psalmist had for their relationship with God. That is the kind of relationship that we are called to have with the divine. To long for God in such a way that we wait on God. Often in Hebrew, the word wait and hope are the same word when translated, and so we wait in hope for God, for God's embrace, and for God's love. Let us reflect on uh, that yearning as we listen to this music.
knows us inside and out and loves us from brokenness to wholeness. Let us offer our prayer of confession together. As the night closes in, we admit that sometimes we crave the darkness. We think that it hides the parts of us that we don't want others to see, that we don't want you to see. But you, O oh God, know us inside and out, and no darkness can hide us from your searching gaze. Remind us that you search for us, not to punish, but to cherish. That your love embraces us, even when we don't love ourselves. Forgive us for seeking the darkness when your light waits in us to shine. Guide us, we pray, to the path you have placed at our feet. We ask this and all things in the strong name of Christ. Amen. The assurance of God's love is in the fact that even when we wrap ourselves up in darkness, God breaks into our lives with light, not to show us our brokenness, not to expose our sin, but to show us that we are loved, worthy of love. Thanks be to God for such a love as this. Today, our scripture is going to be read by our own Roger Miller. Let's listen. Job chapter 14, verses 7 to 15, and chapter 19, verses 23 to 27. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its shoots will not cease. Though its roots grow old in the earth, and its stump dies in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low. Humans expire, and where are they? As waters fail from a lake, and a river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again, until the heavens are no more. They will not awake or be roused out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you would... Point me a set time, and remember me. If mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service I will wait until my release should come. You would call, and I would answer you. You would long for the work of your hands. Oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on a rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at last... He will stand upon the earth, and after my skin has been thus destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me. The words of Job are very much like the words from the psalmist that we read a moment ago. Job is not just longing for new life in the wake of what he has gone through in the wake of his punishment and suffering, he yearns for a restoration to his relationship with God. That is what he is mourning and what he is longing for. So I want us to reflect on those times where we have gone through hardship. When have we been like Job, quick to cry out to God, not in anger, but in longing longing for embrace, longing for a closeness once felt. Let us reflect in a, for a moment on our own relationship with God as we make our way into this night and prepare for the new creation that is tomorrow. Night closes in, and as we mark the end of another day, 
We come before you, O God, in thanks and praise, offering prayers seeking guidance, strength, courage, and hope. Hear us, we pray. We bring before you our burdens, our worries, and our concerns. They weigh us down and often get in the way of us truly experiencing your presence. We lift to you the burdens of those things that we have done and left undone. Help us to see that we are more than what we have done in the past, that every new moment is an opportunity to turn to you in service. We also lift to you our worries, O God. We worry about our world, our friends, our family, ourselves. We worry so much about what is to come that we forget to live in this moment. As the sun sets this day, remind us that a new day will come. Help us to live in each moment, to be present with those with whom we spend our time. For all those things that weigh us down, that we have not named, hear them as we offer our prayers of concern in the silence of this moment. This day, we have been so blessed with warmth and light, and we thank you, God, for this day and for our very lives. Help us to live fully into this moment and into the call that you have for us. We thank you also for the gift of the companionship that we find in one another. Sometimes our struggles are too much for us to handle on our own, and we are grateful to be able to lean on our kindred in this world. For all the blessings that we find in this life, for all the blessings that came just today, we give you thanks, O oh God. Hear our praise in the silence of this moment. On this special day, we pray for all the fathers in our lives. Give them wisdom and patience, we pray. Guide them as they strive to guide young lives. We pray for fathers who do not get to see their children as much as they would like. We pray for fathers who feel unprepared to give their children what they need. We pray for fathers who fear that they are just going to mess it all up. Give them the courage to continue trying as they shape lives. We also pray for those for whom Father's Day is a hard day. For those who have lost fathers, whether they were young or older, this day is not easy for them. And so we ask that you embrace all who feel lost without their fathers today. We also pray for those who have been rejected, neglected, or abused by their fathers. Guide them to safety and remind them that they are loved, O oh God. Hear our prayers this day for fathers, for children, for families. Lastly, we offer up all those prayers which are too deep for words and yet long to find voice. Search our hearts and find them waiting for you in the silence of this moment. These are the prayers of your people, O God, 
These are the prayers offered by our lips and shouted from our hearts. Hear them as we bring them together in the prayer that Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. If you did light a candle with me this night, I invite you to blow it out. And as this last evening prayer service comes to a close, let us offer together, as we always have, our prayer for guidance. We go into the darkness of this night. Send your light before us. Guide us from fear to hope, from dusk to dawn, from life to death and beyond. Be our companion, our strength, our courage as we journey into the unknown of this night, this life that you have gifted us. We ask this and all things in the strong name of Christ. Amen. Now go. Go into this night and into this week and seek out the love of God that lives in your neighbors. Seek out the way of Christ that lies before you. And through it all, be driven by the power of the Holy Spirit as it sends you to those places where God is already at work but in need of your gifts. Amen. <laughs>